Chapter 2, Lesson 7, Discount. You will be able to solve problems involving discount. Discount or markdown is the amount by which the regular price of an item is reduced. The sale price is the regular price minus the discount. Complete the following problems. So this is very similar to the previous lesson except for adding the amount that we have to pay we are subtracting the amount that we have to pay because it's a sale, it's a discount, it's money off. A DVD normally costs $22. This week it is on sale for 25% off the original price. What is the sale price of the DVD? Again, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. You choose your favorite method and stick with it. So the price of the DVD is $22, which is our whole amount. We want to know what 25% of that is. So we use our percent proportion. Go ahead and cross multiply. 100x equals 550. Divide both sides by 100. And you get x equals five dollars fifty cents and this is a discount so what you do is you take your price of twenty two dollars and you subtract the discount which gives you a sale price of sixteen dollars fifty cents Now, I will show you another way. Again, choose the method you prefer. So in the previous lesson, we discussed how you can add the percents together in the beginning because the percents and the amounts were being added together. Now we have the amounts being subtracted. So what we can actually do is subtract the 100% that we start with minus the 25 percent to get 75 percent and use that 75 percent in our problem. Let's watch what happens. X over 22 equals 75 over 100. 100 X equals 1650 divide by 100 and you get $16.50. Whichever method you prefer is fine. However, I will be working through these notes with the first method. Letter B. A shirt is regularly priced at $42. It is on sale for 15% off the regular price. What is the sale price of the shirt? We don't know the part. The total is $42 equals the percent off is 15 out of 100. Cross multiply. 100x equals 630. Divide by 100. x equals $6.30. And this is the discount. So we take our price of $42 and subtract the discount of $6.32 or 30 cents and we get a sale price of $35.70. A markdown is really the same thing as a sale price is a discount, I should say. So we can solve this the same way. Again, choose the method you prefer. Find the sale price of a $64 jacket that is 20% off. X over 64 equals 20 over 100. 100 X equals 
1,280. Divide by 100. X equals $12.80. Take the $64 jacket and subtract $12.80. To get a sale price of $51.20. And again, the other method you could use is take your 100%, subtract 20 to get 80%, and instead of 20 here, put 80. Finding the original price. Okay. A pair of inline skates is on sale for $90. So the sale is $90. If this price represents a 9% discount from the original price, what is the original price to the nearest cent? Now, this was a 9% discount. Okay, so if we use the method from before, we would have taken 100% minus 9% to get 91%. So in our proportion, 91 would be over 100. But this time, we don't know the original price. We don't know that original whole amount, which means our variable goes on the bottom and $90 is the sale price, so that goes on top. Cross multiply, 91x equals 9,000. Divide by 91, and we get x equals 98.90102. Eight, etc. This is money we're talking about. We want to round to this digit. So your original price is $98.90. And that is a rounded value, which is fine. It says round to the nearest cent. Letter B. A bottle of hand lotion is on sale for $2.25. If this price represents a 40% discount from the original price, what is the original price to the nearest percent? So again, in our heads, we can do 100% minus 40% because it's a discount and get 60. So in our proportion, 60 will be the percent. And I subtract because it's a discount, and discount, discounts means you're taking money off. The sale price is $2.25. I do not know the original price. Cross multiply, 60x equals 225. Divide both sides by 60. And we get a price of $3.75. And that is the original price. Combining discount with tax. A boogie board that has a regular price of $69 is on sale at a 35% discount. What is the sales price with 7% tax? So this is a multi-step problem. We first need to figure out what is the sale price? What is the discount? Okay. So we are going to do X over 69 equals our discount's 35%. We're going to start with that amount, 35 over 100. Cross multiply, 100x equals 2,415. Divide by 100. x equals 2,415. This is the discount. So we're going to take our original amount of $69 and subtract 
$24.15. And we have a sale price of $44.85. Now what we need to do is the second part. Now we want to know what is the sale price with 7% tax. So we're going to use this number that we found right here, 4485, in our new proportion. So our sale price is $44.85, and this time our percent of tax is 7. Cross multiply. Divide by 100 on both sides. X equals 3.13. Nine, five. Now this is tax. Again, don't round until the very, very end of the problem. So we take our amount of 4485, and now we need to add the tax. So up here was the discount, and now we are adding the tax of 3.1395. This is the tax. And we get 47.9895. Now we can round to the nearest cent, which would turn this to $47.99. So the sale price was $44.85, but with tax added on, it is $47.99.